Hélène Vassilina, President and Founder, Trasadera Forum Initiative, uh, France. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. President. It's an honor to be here and come back Thank to you. Azerbaijan. Very pleased. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a couple of questions, but I think we're going to add some more in, on, if you allow me, because I think most of the questions you already answered. Of course, the big question is, what do you hope to achieve with the COP? But I think you've already answered most of that, right? Right. And then, how can Azerbaijan combine energy security, supply and demand, and sustainable economic and social, ESG, development and investments to achieve the UN 2030 goals? If I may add just a little bit to that, Mr. President, um, if you could address maybe some education issues and how are you preparing the next generation of young students that we met at ADA uh, to meet the challenges that are coming? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I think that being here in ADA is a good illustration of our educational <laughs> policy and um, really uh, it is absolutely clear for everyone that the best investment is in education and in a young generation. We are trying to do it. For us, it's one of the main priorities. And uh, we have special programs um, uh, with our international partners, a special presidential program of training of our young uh, generation in the leading international universities. At the same time, uh, high level of education in Azerbaijan also is a priority. So we try to combine both. And now uh, having that presidential program of uh, financing of education abroad, at the same time we mainly concentrate on domestic potential. And probably you, you know that soon already we will have a separate building for Azerbaijan Italian University, also on the foundation of ADA. Actually, it's already started its activity, but construction is going on. We have uh, Azerbaijan uh, Fran French University here uh, for many years, and also two universities uh, from Russian Federation, uh, State University and Medical Academy. Um, with respect to sustainable development and energy, I think our economic performance and uh, social programs clearly demonstrate that we used uh, benefits from oil and gas in order to have a fair distribution, in order to tackle the issues of unemployment and poverty. So when we started uh, our energy cooperation and we started to receive uh, first revenues from oil sales, the level of poverty in Azerbaijan was close to 50 percent. So every second person was poor, and among the refugees, it was more than 75 percent. So you can imagine the situation. So now we reduced it to the level of 5 percent, and the same is with unemployment. Uh, social infrastructure, uh, it's a large-scale construction. Now in Karabakh, but before it was everywhere, modern hospitals, uh, clinics, uh, universities, uh, special program for construction of schools. So social infrastructure was one of the most important. Issues related to employment always are in the center of our attention because our population is growing. So year after year we have tens of thousands of new citizens and therefore the issues with employment is something which we must always be very attentive and not to be relaxed when we see that unemployment rate is low. But if you don't address the issue of development, it will be difficult, especially now with this fourth industrial revolution where many specialities and professions will be not needed any longer. So we will face a serious challenge. So we need to prepare our young generation for new jobs, new jobs which do not exist now but will emerge in two, three years. And the special attention we pay to vocational training. We now have a special 
program of uh, opening of vocational centers all over the country uh, with respect to the um, kind of uh, climatic conditions or uh, kind of uh, economic development of the regions. For instance, in touristic destinations, we open vocational touristic schools in uh, other parts, industrial. So it's a combination of, uh, of uh, elements, but with the main uh, objective, of course, to keep the level of uh, literacy as high as it is today, which is absolute, and to uh, train young generations so they can uh, contribute to the development of the country. I remember when uh, I, I launched first time the program of sending young, uh, young people abroad, um, there was some idea that, they, that we need to take a kind of a commitment from them that they will come back. Otherwise, we will spend a lot of money and they will just stay where they study. I said, no. I said, we need to create such a condition in our country that they prefer to come back. So now when I see that um, absolute majority of those who have been trained in the United States, in Britain, in other European countries, uh, come back. So this is an indicator that we are on the right track. So we need to uh, work even harder so that young generation of Azerbaijan do not leave their country. Because this is one of the problems for many countries uh, in the post-Soviet area, that young generation prefer to leave and then the, you just face depopulation. Uh, we have growth of population. Some countries have different problems. I don't know which is, which is worse. I think ours is better because the more people you have in the country, the more powerful you are. Powerful you are. But you have to provide these people with jobs, with uh, housing, with de decent uh, conditions, with uh, health care, and that's what we are doing. And uh, absolute majority of the assets we got from oil and gas sales we channeled into social sector. Thank you.